I've come to Saint-Tropez in the south of France, home to million-pound yachts and the Levoile Regatta. What better place to check out the ultimate rich boy's water gadget? This is the Sequester One personal submarine. That's right, I did say personal submarine. Designed by U-Boat Works, this thing can take you down, way down beneath the waves, to a depth of 50 meters. The Sequester is absolutely brand spanking new. In fact, to date, it's only ever been tested by the people who made it. But today, that's going to change. Today, I'm going to be the first real punter to trust my life to this thing and take it down to the seabed. Do you want to go for a test drive? What, just around the harbour here? Yeah. Yeah, all right then. I'm free. Go for you. Oh, thank you. OK. Watch the big ones. You control the speed and direction using two little dials on the dashboard, and it was pretty easy to use. And despite being on top of the water, I was rather enjoying my little jaunt around the harbour. You know what's absolutely fascinating is, Everyone here has got a million pound yacht and they're all watching me. It's powered by batteries and you get about three hours use from one charge. But once it's run out of power, you have to plug it in for a good 12 hours to recharge it. Ha <laughs> ha check me out. Before being let loose in the open seas, I had to make a number of controlled dives still attached by straps to the support ship so I could be hauled out if anything went wrong. First, I practised opening the soft tanks diagonally. There's two on either side of the vessel, and as they fill up with water, the sub goes down. So I'm going to open rear left, front right. It's a tricky business, though, and you often end up going down a little bit lopsided. I've now opened the left front soft tank to try and level out a little bit. Right, I'm going under, going down. As I started my descent, I noticed something rather disconcerting. There's water dripping in here. Is that normal? It wasn't normal, but this is a prototype. And once the seals were changed, I was good to go. After numerous more training runs to make sure that I knew what I was doing, I got the hang of it and was told I was ready. That's so exciting! My training. That's all the tuition that I'm going to get now. I'm on my own. We're just going out to the Mediterranean, to the open water, so I can dive in my personal submarine for the first time. After a 20-minute boat trip, we were finally deep enough to launch the sub. What a strange mixture of uh, excitement, apprehension, and a teeny little amount of nerves. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Once I carried out my final checks, I was ready to go. Wish me luck. Right, I can see the bottom now. I think I can see the bottom. Once I was down, the divers deemed it safe enough to remove my shackles and let me take the sub for a spin. This was it, the moment I'd been waiting for. I was now completely in control. Look at me, I'm in a submarine. How amazing is that? Oh, man, this is awesome. <laughs> Very easy to operate. Right and left for the rudder, and then forward and backwards for my wings. Just think this is unbelievable. Go over to the right, do a little turn, I think. The pressure inside the cabin remains at a constant one bar, both on the surface of the water and underneath it, so you can scoot around as much as you like without having to worry about safety stops or the bends.
I've just kind of got to hit the bottom a little bit there. That's because I'm inexperienced at doing this. My underwater adventure couldn't last forever, and after an hour of exploring, it was time to call it a day. It's completely blown my mind. It's freaked me out. I, I, I loved it. 